white people. They're a lot like, well, mayonnaise. Fat, a little bit round, and quite bland. That is my white joke made at the expense of white people. Anyone else who dares take that joke, reshare that joke, especially anyone who leans towards the Dijon shade of things, is direct inappropriate appropriation, and anyone who dares retell the joke will be cast out where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. I'll teach you the definition of a hell man. <laughs> What's up everybody, Hunter Avalone here, and this is just another daily reminder that yes, you're racist, I'm racist, we're all racist, we're really racist because we keep doing things that are super racist, and the thing is, is we don't know that they're racist, but yet we do them, so, I, I know, I'm being really confusing, what I mean by that is, have you ever shared a gif, particularly have you shared a gif, or maybe a meme, Featuring Oprah, perhaps. After all, she did recently make some really memeable expressions. <laughs> Me, when people say w we're not living in a simulation. When the waiter asks if Coke is okay instead of heroin. Oh crap, I just committed like two or three digital black faces. Oprah Winfrey memes dubbed digital blackface after the Meghan and Harry interview. I'm sure you've all seen pictures like this one going around. Like I said, quite a lot of expressions, easy to meme, she's a public figure. So what's the problem with this? Well, let's find out. As countless memes and gifts began flooding social media feeds after the couple's interview aired, human rights and social justice group The Slow Factory thought it relevant to remind people what performing digital blackface looks like. Very ironic that it's literally called The Slow Factory. Digital blackface, it's an online phenomenon where white and non-black people share gifts and photos of black folks to express emotion or reaction to anything happening on the internet. While seemingly harmless, the problem with digital blackface is that it often reinforces negative stereotypes about black folks such as their aggressive, loud, sassy, and simply here for your consumption and entertainment. It is another way people try and co-opt black identity and culture without any of the day-to-day -day realities of being black. This is some woke tarred shit. Am I like, am I back in 2016? Cause I remember doing my funny digital blackface video back then. Hey, maybe that's a right-wing opinion of mine that I still have that a uh, digital blackface kind of not a thing. You can use a meme to be racist. You could take this meme and make a racist joke out of it. Like black people when they have to pay child support. <laughs> First of all, gifs and memes don't really reinforce negative stereotypes about black people any more than they would reinforce negative stereotypes about white people. I mean, they're memes, they're gifs, people use them for their own reactions, so all gifs, all memes in this context are most likely going to look like somebody being surprised or a little bit loud or whatnot. Secondly, I agree that black people do not exist for anyone's consumption and entertainment, but when we're talking specifically about Oprah Winfrey, like your post, I mean, she's a public figure, right? She kind of is here for our entertainment, right? Thirdly, memes and gifs, they are not part of black identity and black culture. I don't know what you're talking about. That is dumb as fuck. That is not related at all. And lastly, if you look at the history of what blackface was, when people would go on stage, paint their face black, they were doing so to mock black people, to play a caricature of black people for everyone else's amusement. People sharing Oprah memes, they're not mocking Oprah because she is black. They are sharing the memes because she has relatable facial expressions. If anything, I would argue that white and black people sharing Oprah memes as their reactions is actually a good thing. Doesn't that sound a tad less racist than white and non-black people shouldn't be sharing memes that are not also black? 
It was not long ago that white performers would paint their face black as a form of entertainment for the masses, often playing with the idea that black folks are primitive and violent and hypersexualizing black women. The way that white and non-black folks engage in digital blackface feels too reminiscent of these old shows. Keyword here, feels, because this literally just debunks their own argument. Like the goal of blackface was to separate and other black people so that they looked like these primitive people that were inferior to white people. When people share gifs and memes of Oprah to express their own emotions and their own reactions, that's the opposite. They're relating with Oprah. And again, that doesn't even have anything to do with her skin color, whereas blackface was directly meant to mock a person for their skin color. Performing blackness, be it in real life or online, is not an acceptable form of expressing reaction or dissatisfaction, especially not in exchange for likes and retweets. For example, in light of the Meghan Markle and Prince Harry interview with Oprah this past week, social media has been plastered with Oprah reaction gifts and which Oprah are you today? Graphics callously being spread by non-black users. All right, you know what? Well, if you're coining digital blackface, I'm calling this digital segregation. Because what you're saying right here is that only black people should be sharing memes of black people. You realize when people share memes, it's a meme, right? Like, if I shared a funny meme of Super Mario punching a Goomba, well, I don't think people are going to look at that and say, is Hunter claiming that he is Mario? I mean, maybe you people are like really weird boomers who have never used the internet before. When people share memes, they're not performing and pretending to be black. Again, they're relating with a reaction. This is digital blackface. Do not do this. A reaction I'm having, <laughs> white person. Come on, responding to a text and using, oh, don't use the black emojis either, guys. <laughs> the fact that people are up here with everything going on right now, with the injustice with our police force and the criminal justice system, we have people up here posturing, telling white people, don't use a meme of a black person. Hmm. This reminds me a lot of that Malcolm X quote about how the white man will try and appease black people with symbolic victories instead of real economic justice and equity. That's what this reminds me of. These people are up here essentially virtue signaling, finding something to get mad about, going through a bunch of dumb mental gymnastics just so they can get up on their high horse, look down at people using Oprah, a public figure, using her reaction for their own tweets, and then going, That is just so problematic. <sighs> Please give this video a like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Now, I'm off to eat my mayonnaise. This is only for white people, remember? And I'll see you all soon. Peace.